Hi, today I'm going to give you an overview of the admin dashboard of our yellow food delivery platform. So this is the admin dashboard of our platform. As you can see, this is the landing page where you can see the orders. And on the top left of the top header is the menu icon. Then we have the yellow logo. Then we have the website icon and the bell notification icon. Clicking on the website icon, you will be redirected to the customer website from where the customers can find restaurants as per their location and order food as per their choices. Going back to the dashboard, you have the bell notification which gives you the notifications. Then the landing page which is the orders page can also be accessed from the menu. It gives you options of managing orders, restaurants, settings and also our in-house products can be integrated like Tupin, Hippo and internal support. Now coming to the orders page, here you can see that the orders can are categorized as per either the pending orders, the dispatched orders and also you can see orders that are completed or orders that have been cancelled. Now. Clicking on each order ID, you will be able to see the bill summary, all the details of the orders, including the store name and all the payment information as well and the status of the order also. If you click on view more, it gives you an option of filtering your orders as per this order status or the merchants, that is the restaurants that you have added you have aggregated on your online platform. Now coming to the restaurant management. You can see all the details of all the restaurants that you have aggregated on your platform. When you click on the restaurants icon, you will be redirected to this page. Here you can see all the merchants that are the restaurants. Clicking on a specific merchant ID you will be redirected to the information of that particular restaurant, the name, the email ID, etc. The status can be enabled or disabled. If it is disabled, the specific restaurant will not be visible on your website to the customers. If it has been enabled, it will be visible to your customers. You can edit the merchant details. The email ID and the store name cannot be edited, however, because these are unique identifiers. You can save these details. Further, you can see the catalog for each restaurant, that is the menu. It can have various categories and also each category can have various products added to it. Suppose salad is a category and six products have been added to the salad category. Each product can be edited and you can have the inventory management and add-ons for that product so on and so forth for each category now going back to our menu you can also have the add merchant option that is you can add a new restaurant if you like and save it for your website coming to settings the admin dashboard gives you an option of managing all these settings accounts, notifications, promo referrals, etc. Coming to account, it shows you all your own details. You can change the currency to any currency as per your region. Currently, we provide options of changing the language to French or Arabic other than English as well. You can change the workflow to pick up and delivery if you want to manage your deliveries as well. And so on and so forth coming to notifications here you can turn on and off the notifications that will be visible on the dashboard and on the apps as well for example order placed sign up etc coming to promo and referral you can set the promos that will be visible to your customers you can edit the specific discount percentage the text that you want to show and the maximum discount value that you want to show and you can save that you can also add new promo codes
and also enable or disable the promo codes to be either visible on your website or not. Store specific settings allow you to change the settings as per a particular store. You can change the delivery options from on demand or scheduling. You can change the minimum order value, show out of stock items to customers or not. Also, a very important setting is the workflow or the business model. Whether it is a product marketplace or a service marketplace. In our case, it is a food delivery and it is a product marketplace and hence we've chosen the product marketplace. Adding multiple products in a cart is also an option and product multi-selection is also there. Coming to integrations, we have our in-house products called Tukun and Hippo. If you also want to manage your deliveries, it can be done by integrating your system with Tukun and your deliveries will be managed. You can track your agents from there and you can manage your deliveries as well. And chat support can be provided by Hippo. Billing will let you change your subscription plan from either premium to enterprise you can choose to do so and add your card details as well now coming to customer apps this allows you to change how the customer application will look like to the customer you can add miscellaneous settings like additional charges tip if you want them to give the tip to the agent taxes if you want them to be verified by an OTP while signing up, you can choose to do so by switching on this toggle. And you can also allow your customers to log in with Facebook. Now coming to customers, you can see all your customer details from here and you can choose to perform an action of editing, blocking or viewing a particular customer. You can look and feel of your website. It will let you change the header color, the theme color, the tagline of your website. Last but not the least, coming to terminologies. Terminologies are very important in all industries. As it is an industry specific thing, we allow you to change the terminology as per your industry. For example, in our food industry, we ask merchants to look like restaurants. So we will change that and the same will reflect on your customer application and your web app. And you can choose to call your terms as per your wish and your industry. So this was a short overview. Please stay tuned in for more videos on the yellow platform. Thank you.